Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer the Entertainment District Arc episode number 7. Okay, the previous episode, it was one of the best episodes of this season. Um, we saw uh, two things happening. Number one, Tanjiro got an immense power boost for a limited amount of time. Uh, and Nezuko in the end also got a power boost which I don't know it's is it also like time limited like Tanji or maybe she can control it uh, on her in her own will that we still don't know probably this episode will tell us but yeah still she's she's a lot stronger so the whole thing with Tanjiro um he like you know like he kind of uh went into rage mode because uh Daki like you know as always like you know starts belittling people and just killing people than the, the normal ordinary humans and we kind of get a little bit of a backstory of Daki which uh, I'm sure we'll get more uh we're going to get more uh explanation on in the future and <clears throat> Daki also like you know is like in full power mode now her hair has changed and everything she's using her blood demon art and <clears throat> Like she thought like everything is all over she tried to go away but Tanjiro just stopped her and uh, there was like a little flashback that Muzan's cell was kind of seeing in Tanjiro's it's like seeing Tanjiro's ancestor or someone <laughs> and Tanjiro was kind of like you know being possessed by him or something and saying the same things as that guy and then like you know the fight started and Tanjiro just started dominating the whole fight and <laughs> which that's he would have probably won if he had like if he was able to use this for the whole time but unfortunately it's not that easy uh while she was he was doing this he was probably not even breathing so like the little thing in his in in his uh you know like heart the uh one of the what do you call it the recollection not recollections but um, I'm not sure what you call that, you know, but when the, bro the brother or the mother calls him and talks with him, I'm not sure what that is called, but, you know, he, oh, vision, yeah, vision, yeah, he gets a vision of his brother, uh, who uh, asks him to calm down, and yeah, that's when he starts breathing again, and uh, Nezuko then joins in. <laughs> to help Tanjiro out and Nezuko's transformation is basically I think like it's like a demon transformation we still don't know the specifics because uh Ndaki says that it's on par with the upper demons so yeah maybe even stronger than them who knows but yeah and then <laughs> Nezuko starts dominating the whole fight by just <laughs> you know punching and like kicking Daki down like my god and high speed regeneration so yeah that was fantastic let's see what this episode brings i'm guessing this is going to continue from there and we're going to see nezuko beat up daki in this episode so yeah let's see uh so yeah without further ado let's get started this episode number um seven of uh demon slayer my entertainment uh the entertainment district arc so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> All right. All right, let's beat her up. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my god, this scene. Oh. Yeah, okay. Damn. Oh. If this continues i don't think tengen will actually need to help <laughs> like um <laughs> i think nezuko can just if if he she can like keep controlling this form she can probably end this battle i don't know am i underestimating daki a bit too much who knows <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
<coughs> All right. Okay, let's watch. Transformation. Yeah, I wonder what, what transformation we're going to see now. Like, okay. Oh my god, yo. It pierced her, her. Oh my god. Oh no. <coughs> Greater than her. Oh. Oh yeah, she has lost herself. Okay. Okay, so she he, she doesn't have any control. I'm guessing now. Oh. <coughs> oh my! Oh my God! Okay. Oh, and regeneration again, I think. Oh, my God. Already regenerated. Oh, no, she, she used her severed limbs to. Oh. Oh, that's a demon art. Oh my god, blood demon art. Okay, flashback. Yeah. Oh god. <coughs> my. What? Whoa! Damn! Yeah, I think this un unless un uh, until Daki uses some get some huge power boost or something, this is over. Okay, Nezuka's like, you uh, know, uh, tearing down. <coughs> oh, wait. Okay, she, now she's going to come back to her senses, I think. <coughs> yeah, she, she's coming back. Okay, calm down. Oh no. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ah, my God. Yeah. Oh, but... Oh my god! <coughs> oh! 
Oh no, that oh god. Yeah. I was thinking like she's going to take this opportunity. Oh. She's not healing. Yeah. What can he even do in this situation? Like this Nezuko, other people and Daki? No. Wait, where is Tengen? What is taking him so long? Yeah, there you go. My God. <coughs> okay. <laughs> he's, he's, he's not even looking at her <laughs> What? Isn't she, isn't she one of the upper demons? Oh wait, he already killed? Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, he, when he came in, that's when he did it. Just a sec guys. Oh, then he left. <laughs> <coughs> Is he going to wake up? Oh, no. Oh, he, he was just hearing, listening. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, let Zenith go in front of you. Okay, anyways. <coughs> Wait, is this the end? Or... Okay. So... Oh, 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 okay. Hold on. Yeah, I'll... Okay. Unflashing. My god. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, what what do you do in this situation? Um <laughs> Oh, maybe that will work really. <laughs> oh. oh my god Oh my god, thank. Uh.
Well, thank God. <clears throat> All right, there you go. <coughs> yep, she needs to sleep now. <laughs> okay, what about um Daki? Okay, there you go. Daki's still alive. okay. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what's what's with that? Uh, probably because of Nezuko's damage. What the hell is yo? What's happening? Okay, put your head on your neck first. What? <coughs> Wait, what's happening? Whoa! Wait. Wait, th this guy was inside her? Wow, like that. Oh my God, yo. Who is this? This is her brother, that's...
Wow, so she was not the actual big deal here. <laughs> One little brain chip. Damn. Wow. There you go. Gyutaro. Yeah, the sickles. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> well, Zenith is. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's gonna freak out. I... <laughs> you know what? I feel bad for saying this, but I feel like if... If Zenitsu became a demon, he'd become like him. <laughs> Oh boy, oh my god. All right. Yeah, okay. Oh no. Oh my god. Come on, Inosuke. <coughs> Zenitsu. Oh my god. Yeah, this is an annoying attack. <coughs> yeah. Probably. No, maybe you need to, uh, you know, sever both their heads. <coughs> Okay. <coughs> oh, what's that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, Daki's all oh boy. Yep. Yeah, I, I figured that out. So basically, yeah, you need to defeat both of them. Like, what is this? Some boss battle? It's like, you know, final boss battle? You fight a boss, you think that, oh, I finally defeated the boss and then pops out another one with another health bar? <laughs> and the previous one who was dead, he gets a full health boost? Oh my god. And now there's like an additional condition <coughs> defeat both of them at the same time or something like i'm guessing it's something like that wow hmm. i'm guessing it is something like that like you need to cut both of their heads at the same time or something like if you cut off daki's head first obviously he'll he's nothing's going to happen we saw that 
and i'm guessing the vice versa also is applicable like if you cut off gyutaro's head first nothing would happen probably so you need to get both the heads at the same time <clears throat> god wow okay i was um this this was unexpected uh, honestly speaking i was not expecting another demon popping out of daki like what is this and yeah uh, it does make sense like <laughs> like they're upper six for a reason i guess <clears throat> All right. Okay. <laughs> More of this. Hmm. 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 Gathering. All right, that was it. Okay, this was episode number two, and wow, what a surprise! Um, that that was totally unexpected. Okay, so here, um, this episode starts with Nezuko beating up. <laughs> Daki, <laughs> oh boy, and <clears throat> like <laughs> uh, I I did say at that moment that oh maybe like you know like, yeah this is over unless and until Daki gets a major power boost this is over the Nezuko herself will be able to just defeat her on her own but yeah like um, it it like she did eventually get a power boost if you can call it that so. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, um, okay, so here in the beginning, uh, as we can see, like, you know, Nezuko is beating up uh, Daki, but one thing we can see here is Nezuko has basically lost herself completely, <clears throat> which is something that happened. I think the only time this similar thing like this happened was in, um, in the first episode when Nezuko became a demon and she attacked Tanjiro. Tanjiro kind of grabbed, not grabbed, but used a stick or something, I think, to, you know, in, in her mouth. Uh, and Nezuko was crying. I remember that's when Gyu came in. <clears throat> so, yeah, that, I think that's the, f the only time she lost herself. And obviously that was the beginning. So, uh, you know, obviously nothing you can do about it. And uh, after that, uh, because she had the thing in her mouth, nothing that major happened unless and until like you know today this episode like she again lost control this and the previous episode so yeah so she lost herself and she's just like you know beating Daki up and Daki tries to kind of attack her and severs her limbs and everything but it, it doesn't matter because um you know the blood kind of coagulates and it's kind of still being like you know keeping it under control and she used like her blood de demon art is something that like you know burns we as we saw in uh, season one where she used that on on that spider guy i don't remember his name um <clears throat> so uh yeah so we see like you know like she the, the blood that splatters on daki it uh starts burning and there's like a huge fire tornado something like that happening and we see a l i think a little flashback was being shown i don't know like they're giving us small little hints of daki's past but they're not giving us anything concrete i'm guessing almost at the end or maybe after like you know on the episode where she's going to die or something that episode they're going to give us the full story of her or something like that maybe like that's how they usually do it like you know when when the demons die they give us like a little flashback so i'm guessing it will be something like that again uh but yeah mm, okay so <clears throat> yeah the fighting continues tanjiro like you know wakes up very like you know like he's unable, unable to obviously because his own pain is also kind of bothering him but he still wakes up and 
she goes to stop Nezuko. Nezuko is just like, you know, like just beating Daki up and like, Daki is like in no condition to fight again. Now, <clears throat> one thing I do wonder here, uh, we can see how strong Nezuko is. And as I said, like, you know, and I still believe that uh, if Nezuko was, was able to control this uh, form, she herself could have easily defeated Daki. But there's one thing that I'm not so sure about. Would she also be able to defeat Gyutaro? Uh, you know, like if she was still in that form when Gyutaro came out, would she be able to defeat him? That's one thing that I still don't know. Uh, I think it would have probably, it would probably be an even fight. You know, like Gyutaro and like a demon form Nezuko would probably be like a um, very close fight or something. So, yeah. And if and and since Daki is also like you know going to cooperate, yeah, it will probably be a lot difficult for her to take on both Yutaro and Daki. So yeah. Anyways, um, no, like you know, no need to think about that because that wouldn't happen. Uh, because Nezuko is like you know in normal now. But yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, she you know comes into like you know like uh, comes across a room where there's like ordinary people now here i kind of thought maybe she's going to slowly slowly get her reasons back uh, uh, reasoning back because uh there are the people like you know it's like bleeding and everything and i i do remember in a previous uh you know past situations days ago after seeing normal people you know and people who resembles her mom or her uh, brothers and sisters she like, you know, she showed affection towards them and kind of calmed down. But I thought it, something like that would, was going to happen here or something. But, like, turns out, no. Like, you know, like, Nezuko is too far gone this episode, at least. So she, she seeing those people, she tried to attack them. And thankfully, Tanjiro came in, used the sword to kind of stop her. And, you know, like, put it in, in her mouth. And... Uh, yeah, and then starts the struggle. Nezuko and Tanjiro, like Tanjiro trying to stop Nezuko, Nezuko trying to bite off the whole sword, <laughs> and just struggling. And my God, okay. And then like, and I was thinking, like, where is Tengen? Like, he's taking so long. Like this, this fight is happening for so such a long time. And like, why is he still not here? And as, as, as just as I was thinking, he kind of arrived. Daki was also there. And <laughs> so Tengen, while arriving, when, when he cut off the door, he also cut off Daki's head at that moment. And <clears throat> you know, like he just came and told Tanjiro, like, what the hell are you doing? You know, like, uh, aren't you supposed to make uh, Nezuko calm down? Like, you know, wh what did you say to our master? Uh, did you forget that? Go and like you know, like calm her down quickly. Sing a lullaby, do whatever the hell you want to. Just calm her down. <laughs> and yeah, and turns out uh, the lullaby did work. Mm, Tanjiro uh, started uh, singing the lullaby that her mom sung to them, and uh, yeah, she calmed down and started crying. And became extra small because you know like all her <laughs> energy is just gone and she I think she's like a two or three year old kid now like she regressed which I'm mean, again like she, she's going to like grow back again normal because uh, when she gets her you know I, I, I think her power back and everything and when she has her rest after she gets her rest she's going to grow back again but for now, like, she's just spent, and I, I doubt she's going to wake up currently. She, she's in deep sleep. So, yeah, like, um, Nezuko, like, I'm, so Tanjiro uh, is going to take Nezuko to the basket, and yeah, the, she'll be just there. So yeah, the whole thing with Nezuko is resolved, but there's one thing still, which still needs resolving, that is Daki. Now, here's where things starts getting weird. <laughs> First of all, then Tengen says that, oh, you you are the upper six? I guess impossible. You're weak. Now, here's like here's what it is then. <laughs> so that means mm, I don't know. I felt <laughs> I felt that 
Tanjiro and Nezuko, like they have been, like you know, fighting with uh, Zaki all this while. I've been thinking that with their power boost, they were easily able to defeat them, which kind of gave me like a little, like you know, what can I say? Uh, like help me envision something. I thought that okay, so she's one of the upper six, even though she's number six. I think they call yeah number six. Even though she's number six, that is the last of the upper six. Still, he's she's one of the upper six. So if then ten uh, if uh, ten, Tanjiro and Nezuko in Nezuko in, the, in her demon form and Tanjiro in that form, whatever form that was, you know, if they are stronger than Daki in those forms, and Daki being the upper six, one of the upper six, that means they are like you know they're a lot. They they could. Like, you know with more training more like you know control they could probably get even more stronger and actually fight moves on very quickly um turns out no because as tengen says that that form daki's that form was too weak to be a, a upper six so that means uh <coughs> tanjiro and nezuko had been struggling with fighting daki when she wasn't even in her full potential like my god that, so that means like now that yutaro has come out i think i i think most probably this like you know in this form tanjiro would probably not be able to uh, just like how he was uh well, what can i say uh just like how he was actually advantageous over daki in, in the previous episode, in, in, in that Tanjiro's form, in, in that enraged form, this time it probably, even if he gets enraged and he gets back to that form, he won't be able to do the same thing now because Gyutaro is out now. So, turns out like, yeah, like, this is nothing. All this time we've been fighting Daki and Daki wasn't even in, like, you know, her full, full potential. Like Tan, like Tengen just came and just slashed her head off, off. That that easy it was. And my God, so yeah, like, <laughs> uh, the the power level again, like you know, the 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 envision the, the the little thing that I kind of envisioned again crumbles down. So yeah, that's uh, it's not that easy. That means. But anyways, uh, enough of that. Uh, so. <clears throat> So Tengen says that you're not that strong, like, you know, what are you even saying? You know, like, how can you be the upper six? I don't know why, but Daki starts crying like a baby. And I, I was really not expecting that. Like, why did she start reacting like that? Uh, but, but anyways, <laughs> like, like yeah, like, like this, this like her behavior was really weird. It started becoming really weird from this part onwards. Like she starts wailing like a baby, and she's just crying and everything, and then she and then comes out Yutaro. Like she, she's acting like a kid. I feel like uh, I don't know. Anyways, um, like all this time I've never expected Daki to be like that. You know. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, she starts crying and just like that, that was a really weird situation. I, I was really like, you know, I was thinking like, what is happening here? Like, you know, is this how Daki is going to end? You know, is this, is this, is this the final battle? Like Daki crying like a baby? <laughs> I was thinking that for a moment and then no, like, in, like <laughs> the surprise comes, Yutaro comes out and he just heals daki just like that and uh, uh daki's like onichan get them they bullied me <laughs> and onichan's like okay leave it to onichan <laughs> oh boy but yeah and then gyutaro uh, starts rambling about stuff talking about tengen this and that and just you know like Stengen sees how strong Yutaro is, just so quick, so like you know, precise, and so strong. And he uses two sickles, which is interesting. 
kind of like in the sickles kind of acts like a boomerang as well and uh, yeah okay so <clears throat> thank uh, thankfully uh, zenitsu and uh, uh, inosuke is here and they can probably help out some way hopefully i i hope so i don't think they they can like you know maybe they can help out who knows like looking at this i feel they would be able to do anything in this situation i doubt that you know like tanjiro was struggling with daki uh even when she wasn't giving her full like you know power using her full power so like in this like in, in this form i doubt Denison inosuke can be of any help but i guess they can at least you know like do something hopefully and help out you know but yeah we'll see <clears throat> uh, i don't know about zenitsu you know like zenitsu i feel like zenitsu can do a lot of things when he's asleep at least like he seems quite strong when he's she's as he's he's asleep and maybe zenitsu can i don't know we'll see next week but anyways um tengen then starts uh, you know like fighting and uh, against Gyutaro, Gyutaro's um, attacks are fighting technique is interesting. He he uses his blood to attack. It's like you know, like blood kind of acts becomes sharp as a blade and attacks. It's like manipulating the blood. I'm guessing the heals. And uh, so one thing, uh, as we see, when Tengen uses those things those little explosives to blow the place we see Daki using her obi to protect them so i'm guessing Daki was like the uh, defense i think yeah it would make more sense like that like Daki was like the defensive uh, you know a defensive person while Gyutaro was the offensive person so that's why you know like Daki is not that strong as Gyutaro because her main speciality is defense. I don't know. I'm just making a guess, you know. Like, it it, it would be like you know it could be understandable like that because as as Tengen said that Daki is not like you know strong enough to become uh, to be this the uh, upper six, but she is one of the upper six. So it would make sense if her speciality was actually like defense or something. Like we see, like in in, in that blast, Daki just protected them. Nothing happened to them using her obi. So yeah, so yeah, I, I think that that's probably it. Like they're like a two two person, like you know, like you know, team. Uh, Daki and Yutaro. Yutaro attacks and Daki protects. Something like that. So yeah, and I I I wonder where he, Daki Gutara actually was. Was he like inside Daki or something? I don't know. Like he just popped out. Yeah, I think so. He popped out of Daki, didn't he? Okay, I'm, I'm I went back to that part where Gutara comes out. Okay. Um. No. No no yeah 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 okay okay. Yeah, he, he comes out of Daki. I, I don't know, like, from her back or something. Um, I feel like he, he appeared from Daki's back. Yeah. Or maybe he was in one of her obis or something. That would make sense, but I don't think it was from her obi. I think he just came out from her back or something. But yeah. So yeah, that was it. That was this episode. My God, uh -huh. surprise! I was not expecting this type of a surprise. But uh, yeah, turns out we need to <laughs> fight some more, and this time it will be even more difficult. But Tengen is here, and uh, even though uh, Tanjiro and Nezuko won't be able to use their, you know, like m more powerful version, po more powerful form. Uh, when Tanjiro comes back, he can at least help out, and so Inosuke, so like you know, so can Inosuke and Zenitsu as well. So yeah, hopefully everything goes well, and uh, we are able to defeat both of them. And as I said, like you know, I feel like the uh, defeating conditions of Daki and Gyutaro is 
killing them both at the same time probably and uh, i think that's that's going to take care of them otherwise if you just like you know to take off one of their heads nothing's going to happen so so wait a minute so are they like one demon or something like it, it would oh, i don't know like otherwise how it wouldn't make any sense like two of them needs to die okay i'm you know what i'm just assuming that two two of them needs to die at the same time maybe it's something completely different uh but if it if, if the condition is something like two of them needs to die at the same time that would mean they are like part of one demon why are there two people in it uh, you know what these are demons we're talking about what am i why am i even trying to make sense of it like anything can happen to demons like you know like maybe maybe they're just connected or something some way all right so yeah so that was it and and this is like uh this is rank number six so <coughs> i wonder <coughs> i wonder what rank akaza was i don't know probably like obviously like he was definitely higher than daki but i wonder which rank he was so that means yeah like uh, demons like this there are five more demons like this which includes akaza as well like this strong and then obviously muzan is <laughs> he's there as well obviously so yeah well tanjiro and tanjiro nezuko inosuke zensu they need <laughs> they need to improve a lot more like this otherwise th th this won't do oh so yeah so next week we are going to see more of the fight um i think this time we're probably going to see tengen fight for real now we've seen him fight but those were just uh, him like you know not using normal fighting techniques nothing too flashy <laughs> So next week I'm I'm sure he's going to use everything that he has at his disposal. So yeah, we're probably going to see a huge fight in the next week. So yeah, looking forward to that. Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District Talk, episode number two. So if you guys enjoyed, uh, not two, sorry, uh, episode number seven. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. All you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of demon slayer the entertainment district talk so until then goodbye and have a nice day